Hi, my name is Allison Nowell, and today I'm going to show you my interior design portfolio website. You can access my portfolio at allisonnowelldesigns.weebly.com. First, I'm going to show you my About Me page. This is where you'll find a little description about me, and you can access my portfolio, my resume. And it'll, once you click that button, it'll pull up my resume, which shows my interior design experience, my experience outside of interior design, my education, contact information, skills, and leadership. Next, we'll go back to my portfolio. If you go to my homepage, you'll see some of my projects that I have highlighted. These are some of my favorite projects. You can even click on the images and see the project page. We'll go through these projects in detail in just a second. So first you can go to my project page and you can see the different categories for my projects. I have residential, commercial, hand drawings, AutoCAD drawings, Revit drawings, SketchUp drawings, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe InDesign drawings. First, we'll be going through my residential designs. We'll go look at the Sears home. Um, the Sears home was a early 1900s design where the Sears department store sends out a catalog and you were able to pick out a home, they ship it right to you. You could build your home from scratch by yourself with very detailed des descriptions that Sears sent to you. First, I have my first floor, which we have our living room, a little office counter space, and our kitchen. Next, you have our master bedroom upstairs and a boy's bedroom upstairs as well. Both of these drawings were done in AutoCAD and hand rendered. Next, you'll see the elevations, we have the kitchen island elevation, laundry room, fireplace, bathroom, master bathroom, kitchen, and living room elevation. All of these are also designed in AutoCAD and hand rendered. Next, if you go back to my projects page and go to commercial designs, and go to the Hallmark Corporate Office, you'll see the Hallmark Corporate Office, we were designed tasked to pick a corporate retail store that we designed, redesigned a corporate office for. We did our floor plans and RCPs in, Auto, in Revit, and we rendered the, did hand rendering perspectives in SketchUp. So first we have, I did a first floor retail space where you can see inside to their design create, creativity area as well. Um, you can see the tables and different things that you have for display as of cards as well. And then next, you'll see the lobby perspective. You have your check-in desk, an accent wall, the front door, and then stairs to go upstairs. This would be an employee entrance only as this is to an employee space in particular. When you go up the stairs, you'll walk right into the kitchen and sitting area. This can be used as a break room or people who want to get up out of their office, their desk, and just mingle and explore out into other places. And then you'll look over into the sitting room where you have the conference area with open windows and more seating area as well, as well as comfortable seating so you can relax while you're doing your work as well. And if you go back to my projects, and then if you look in the residential and commercial, there's one project that has been grouped together as for both, which is the art gallery and residential space. This was a task where we were giving a three-story building and putting the task to create a art gallery for the first two floors and a residential space for the second, third floor. This was a group project that I did with Ansley Fries and Savannah Walters. First, you'll see our floor plans that we created in AutoCAD and rendered in SketchUp, rendered in Photoshop. And if you go down to the bottom, you'll see our 3D perspectives that we did in SketchUp. You have the art gallery space where we highlighted three different art pieces that we created. And then these were 
um, one of a kind, unique custom built art displays where you can hand hang the different paintings and look at them from different sides. You can even hang multiple paintings as well, but they can be adjusted to different sizes as well. And then we have a bar area over here in the back where people could eat, could order drinks and stuff or have um, different food if the event was catered. And then this is our kitchen in our residential area with the seating and kitchen, kitchen seating and living room seating as well. And you can see these in detail on the floor plan as well. And that is it. This is my portfolio. If you want to contact me, please contact me on my email at agnowell99 at yahoo.com. Feel free to look at my website at allisonnowelldesigns.weebly.com. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.